We're here in the beautiful Palazzo San Nicolo in the neighborhood of the same name for the Florentine Day. 12 hours of talks, tastings, and tours powered by Florence's English language news magazine, which is now in its 13th year. Active since 2005, the Florentine is the magazine aimed at Florence's large English-speaking and international community and Florence and Tuscany lovers around the world. On September 14, 2017, this community of readers, writers, and friends gathered in the magical setting of Palazzo San Nicolo for a day of celebration, conversation, and expanding our horizons. The idea of turning it into an annual event is already up for discussion. There were around 300 participants in the day's events, which involved many people and places in the San Nicolo neighborhood, including local artisans, jewelers, shoemakers, and restaurateurs. Several highlights took place in the sprawling garden, including a presentation on forgotten women artists of Florence by Linda Falcone of the Advancing Women Artists Foundation, as well as a lively panel discussion on the themes discussed in the bilingual literary magazine The Florentine Literary Review, which features short stories and poetry by contemporary Italian authors, side by side with English translations. A few lucky people got to zen out in the relaxation room, while others kicked off their mornings with open air yoga. Aspiring food photographers got to learn from one of the experts, while the wine inclined learned tasting techniques from a top level sommelier. And lively discussions took place throughout the day, from the terrace to the garden to the ground floor lounge. Plus, it wouldn't be a Florentine celebration without food and plenty of fun, which rounded out the evening at this first edition.